Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the measure of central tendency. This measure of central tendency helps us identifying the average or the middle value from the data set. So whenever you are working on any of the data set, you have been asked to identify the average of values. Now average of values is a really important measure because it gives us an idea about uh, how the performance is on an average because when the data set is very huge and there is a lot of variation in data then uh, looking at the data set it becomes really difficult to identify whether we are really doing good bad neutral or what it is but then averages come into the picture that helps us identifying, okay, uh, this is a particular rate or particular value on which we are either uh, going up or declining and then accordingly we take a measure. So here we have uh, three different types uh, based on which we can identify averages or central tendency into the data set. So the first one is uh, mean or alternatively call it arithmetic mean which is a uh, most popular use of uh, uh, finding the averages and uh, sometimes we use it incorrectly and that is why uh, it is really important to understand what are these two other averages are we you must have heard about median and mode uh, like it is uh, generally an 8th standard or 10th standard uh, functions which we usually study and uh, but when it comes to uh, professional life when you are working on reports or dashboard almost 99 percent of the time you are using arithmetic mean and that's where uh, it becomes uh, really useful but sometimes misleading too because according to the nature of the data we need to change our uh, path from either to mean to median or to mode and in this video i will show you these three different data sets that will help us identifying the difference uh, among these three approaches so let's go ahead and uh, move on to the click view that i have created for you and here on the first section which is on the left hand side you have the arithmetic mean or the normal mean and here you can see that i have three stocks stock a b and c uh, their year information so and then the return that they have generated now looking at this data set if you are going to evaluate stock a then these are the returns 12 percent 16 percent 11 percent so on and so forth based on how the stock has performed each year same is the case for b and c now looking at this suppose you want to take a decision that uh, based on their historical performances you want to make a recommendation to the client that hey these this is a stock uh, which has performed historic historically good and uh, you need to invest into that and for that you cannot simply put this data in front of them and say look at this and see go ahead with this particular stock but they need some concrete value or a single value which helps them understanding okay this is the one which has the highest return and then I will go ahead with that because consistently it has produced good returns. So in that case, you will probably say that this is the average return that each stock has given in the past five years. And uh, whomsoever stock is having the maximum average return in past five or ten years, you will go ahead or your client will go ahead with that. So you will say you will be kind of producing a metric of stock A, B and C and then their average return in front of that. So the formula for identifying averages to sum of all the values, like in this case return, and divided by the number of values. So n indicate the number of values. Now to do this here in click view, you will right click, go to new sheet object and uh, create a simple chart. So within the chart, I'm going to the simple table and I will just say stock. And to find the arithmetic mean or average, or mean I will just simply say average so this function has uh, this formula inbuilt into it and we don't really have to do anything special for that and I just need to specify the field name which is written and click OK 
So I will just simply say stock return as a label and I'll click finish. All right. So now if I see my stocks A, B and C and now their average returns after that. So I can clearly identify that in past 10 years, stock A has given the maximum return of 19% as compared to B and C, where C, st stock C is the lowest performer with 15% of return. So in this way, you can create your metric and uh, kind of do a proposal that in which stock you need to uh, do an investment based on their historical data. So that's how you can uh, do an average or arithmetic mean. And the core idea is that when your uh, data set is something like this, where values are changing and uh, uh, you need to kind of find a middle value, then you should go ahead with arithmetic mean. And values are not, values should not have a lot of differences, something like you have 12% and then in the next row or in any of the rows for this uh, stock, you are having let's say 55%. In that case, arithmetic mean will not go going to give a good picture or a good average. In that case, when there is a lot of uh, variation or a high variation in data, you go to the median approach. So here in this median approach, I have a data set of employee and salary. And in that, if we see uh, employee A has a 10,000 salary, B has a 8,000 salary, Whereas if you go to the employee F, it has 85,000 as a salary. So you can see there is a huge difference between what normally the salary figures are for a couple, for a lot of employees and then G and H, uh, F and G employee has the maximum salary. So G has uh, 100,000 salary and F has 85,000 salary. Whereas other are something like 15,000, 13,000, 7,000. So in that case, if we produce an average, let's say uh, we want to produce an average and I'll just go to text object and I will say equals to average of salary and click OK. So here is the average if I go by the first approach and in this, in this case 25,000 is what the average salary of all the employees but looking at the data we can clearly figure out this is not the case no employee or almost uh, 95 or 98 percent of employees are not even touching 20,000 marks so how can the salary be 25,000 so in this case using the normal arithmetic mean or average formula will lead us to incorrect result and in this case we need to go ahead and use the median formula in this case. So I will just replace average with median and click OK. So median will give us very much accurate result and here in this case it has given us 12,000 based on the formula which is over there. So what it does internally, it sorts the result either in ascending or descending order and figure it out the middle value. So if I just sort the value by double clicking over here, I will see that in the middle I have 12,000, 12,000, 13,000 and all that. And based on the formula it identified that 12,000 is a value which is perfectly at the center and has given us the result. In this way we can say, okay, here it makes a lot of sense that uh, median value or average value, average sal salary value for these employees is 12,000 but after this uh, if your data is very much repetitive uh, that means uh, uh, it is repeating a lot in this case it is just repeating once or twice like salary employee C has 12,000 salary employee J has 12,000 and 13,000 for E and I but if it is repeating a lot then you should move on to the mode to identify the best candidate which says that average is the most repetitive value in the data set. And this we generally identify uh, in some kind of um, quality control process where you have uh, uh, some machine on which you are doing, which is manufacturing or doing something and doing some defects. You have a defect code and you register during a day how many defects were there and what were those defects and have a 
defect code registered against it. So in this case, if we need to identify an average, then we will just go ahead and go to text object. Here first I will start with the normal average formula to show you the difference. So if I say average and go to defect code and click apply. So in this case, it, it has given me a value of 3.36. So generally this is not the defect code which is in there. However, if you are saying, okay, we can round off and value three is the, uh, basically we can say this, this is the most repetitive one or the middle value. Then we need to see, is it really the case? So if we go by the second method, which is median and click apply, then it is giving us the same thing, which I just talked that uh, three is the one uh, which is at the center when it has sorted the value and given us the result. However, when you actually evaluate the data set, you will see that values are being repeated, being repetitive most of the time and going by the median or average approach will not going to make a lot of sense because if we go by the third uh, function, which is mode, click apply, it gives us the value four which is the most repetitive value in this case. So if I just click OK and I will just kind of sort the values and I would see that uh, defect one has uh, repeat three times in a day, uh, two has repeated four times, three has repeated three times. However, four has repeated most of the times. So to identify what is really causing or which defect is really really uh, giving a lot of uh, problems then in that case four is the one which is basically an average value or the reporting value you should take uh, from this data set so this is the major difference about looking at the data and then identify whether you want to go with the normal mean or with the median or with the mode so if data is normally distributed that means uh, there is not a lot of variation uh, there is variation but not big like you have seen in the second data set then you go by normal average method if there is a variation or a huge variation into the data then uh, you should go by median and if you have a data set in which values are repeating a lot then in that case you should go by the mode function to identify the average or the middle value value which you will like to report or put it into an intention so these are the three methods for central tendency i wanted to discuss in this video i hope you have found this uh, information useful and i will meet you in the new video the new topic